The Princess Royal is scheduled to make a staggering 36 visits this month, which averages to more than one visit per day. She has already completed a number of appearances, with her first being made on July 1 when she attended the Duke of York's Royal Military School for the Grand Day Parade. And Princess Anne is planning on attending up to three events per day this month, with each appearance taking place in various locations. Her final appearance will be on July 29 as she is scheduled to attend the Game Fair at Ragley Hall in Ulster. The report was made by Ask Gamblers who looked into all the events that the Windsors have planned this month. A spokesperson at Ask Gamblers said, the Princess Royal has a reputation for being exceptionally hard working and summertime is no exception. Her Royal Highness busy calendar sees her working 21 days throughout the whole of July, the same as any full-time employee in the UK. We know that the Queen likes spending time at Balmoral Castle in August, so we do wonder what Her Majesty, Prince Charles, Prince William and their families are up to in the meantime. In second place is the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester who have a combined total of 24 visits, placing them as the hardest working royal couple this summer. The two will have joint visits twice this month, with the pair already attending the Platinum Jubilee concert at St. Albans Cathedral. They will be making their second joint appearance on July 29 at the annual Treasurer's Reception in London. Prince Richard also has 13 public engagements he will be attending alone, whereas the Duchess of Gloucester has nine. In fourth place is the Earl of Wessex who has nine visits planned for the month. Prince Edward has already completed his trip to Edinburgh on July 1st, with his wife Sophie Wessex only having one official engagement this month. Next up is Princess Alexandra as the Queen's cousin has announced five official engagements this month. The Queen has taken a step back from public duties amid ongoing health concerns related to her sporadic mobility problems. Her Majesty missed a number of events over the Platinum Jubilee weekend, and recent images have appeared to show the monarch looking frail. Prince Charles, the future king, has taken on a number of responsibilities on behalf of the Queen, 